Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihil kareem. I greet you from a private residence uh, here in London, uh, in the garden, on this the 21st day of the month of Zul Qa'ada with Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This, uh, this message is entitled from Skopje in Macedonia to Durus in Albania to Birmingham in Britain. And uh, before I, I uh, inform you of these lectures, uh, let me pause for a moment to pay tribute to the memory of a member of the family of my teacher, Molana uh, Dr. Fadlur Rahman Ansari, Rahmatullah, uh, his sister's daughter, and her husband died, uh, Muhammad Rafiuddin Ansari, may Allah have mercy on his soul. I had not met him for some 40 years. And uh, one month ago, I went to see him when he was uh, in bed. He couldn't leave his bed. He was 90 years of age. But he was so happy to see me and you could see from the smile on his lips and the smile in his eyes, uh, his happiness to meet with me again after such a long time. And it was by Allah's kindness that I was in London uh, when he died. And we, yesterday, we spent six hours driving uh, to attend the Salatul Janaza and then to be there at the cemetery for his burial. And we pray that Allah might have mercy on the soul of the brother of mine, the elder brother, uh, Muhammad Rafiuddin Ansari. And now then, this is to inform you of my plan to visit uh, Skopje in uh, Macedonia on the 2nd of July, inshallah. And a large number of my students are planning to be in uh, Skopje at, at that time. Uh, from the 2nd to the 12th. But this is dependent upon my getting a visa. Uh, for Macedonia, there is a necessity of an uh, interview. And uh, they've given me June 27th. And we're trying to get an earlier date. We've been trying since the beginning of June. Uh, hopefully, that I'll get the, uh, <coughs> the, excuse me, <coughs> the visa in time and be able to fly to Skopje in Macedonia. My first visit uh, on July the 2nd, inshallah, and uh, have a series of talks over there, conversations, uh, meeting with my students. Uh, if you're in Kosovo, it's not too far to drive over. If you are in Bosnia, it's not too far to drive over. Uh, if you're in Albania, it's not too far to drive over to Skopje and to join me uh, in the in these ten days that I'll be there, inshallah, in uh, in Skopje for the first time, may Allah open the way for me to be able to travel to Skopje, and may Allah keep us safe and bless our stay in Skopje, inshallah. And then I'll travel to Durus in Albania. This is the second time I'm going to Durus, beautiful city. And uh, over there, of course, we have no public lectures, but uh, my students could all gather every evening and I teach them as I did on the last occasion in um, Indoors two years ago, perhaps, yes. And uh, <coughs> on the 20th of July, I'll fly back to London and then drive over to Birmingham. And this is to remind you, this is my last lecture before I return to Trinidad. And when I return to Trinidad, Allah knows whether or not I'll ever be able to travel again. And this is a very important lecture in Birmingham. It's going to take a long time, at least two hours. And I urge you to come and attend that lecture and to be part and parcel of this historic gathering. When we look to the Quran for the evidence in the Quran, that the Nabi Isa Islam will return one day. It's going to be a very interesting and an exciting lecture, although it's going to be long. And then after we establish from the Quran the return of the Messiah, 
Nabi Isa alayhi salam, we then look at the implications for mankind of that miraculous return of the Messiah, Nabi Isa alayhi salam. This also will be the last occasion for you to get autograph copies of my books uh, on that occasion in Birmingham on the 22nd of July. So I look forward to meeting with you on the 22nd and then a few days after that I'll fly to Trinidad. And I'll remain in Trinidad, inshallah, for the rest of the year. And if Allah so wills, we don't know the future, but we pray that Allah might open the way for me to then travel again in January, come back to London and fly to Malaysia for just a little, little time and then on to Cape Town and then to Durban and then to Johannesburg and Pretoria and to Botswana, <coughs> to Cabaroni in Botswana and to Berry and Mozambique, and then to Senegal. I, they've invited me to Senegal, and I'm going to go to Senegal, inshallah, and uh, travel around the country. And who knows, I may be able to even manage to visit Ghana as well before I return to Johannesburg to go to Mauritius, where I have a lovely group of students in Mauritius. I've not been to Mauritius for several years now and then back to Malaysia for a big program of lectures in Malaysia as well as, well <coughs> as the conference. And then return to Britain in order to be able to go over to Europe in July. As usual, we go to Brussels and then to Rotterdam and The Hague and Amsterdam, and then go on to Geneva and to Neo and go on to Zurich and Sweden, as I did earlier this year. And then to travel to Armenia for a conference, Muslim Christian conference, and then to Moscow, inshallah, hopefully, before I return, if it is possible, to Pakistan. I have more to say on Pakistan shortly, and also to Afghanistan and to Iran. It might take the whole year of travel. It might take the whole year of travel. But after this, I promise my wife I'm not going to be traveling again. I will stay in Trinidad to write very important books. Inshallah, and if I have to travel, it'll only be for one week or two weeks, that's all, <laughs> if my wife allows me. So Allah knows whether or not all of this travel is going to be possible, but Allah has been kind to me all my life that He's allowed me, He's kept me safe, He's allowed me to do so much travel. And any, any time I travel and I meet with people, it has a different effect than simply listening to a lecture. The personal touch, meeting with people personally, has a sort has a tremendously different effect and impact upon them. And this is why there is so much blessings in traveling. So we ask you to make dua for me that I may be able to get my visa in time to travel to Skopje in Macedonia. And those of you in the Balkans who can travel to Skopje for July the 2nd, that we may be able to meet for the first time in Skopje and then go on to uh, Duras in Albania and then for the last lecture in Birmingham. It's going to be a long lecture. It's going to be an interesting lecture. It's going to be an exciting lecture. And I look forward to meeting with you in Birmingham on July the 22nd. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.